Hello friends, I will show you how to use group function in MS Word. So first of all, we will click on the start button to access the program window of Microsoft Word. Scroll right and here is the Microsoft Word 2007. Click on it and uh, you can see we have program window. Uh, before doing uh, that, before using the uh, uh, group function, uh, let uh, me insert some illustrations from the insert group using illustration uh, uh, group. So uh, go to insert uh, insert tape, and you can see here uh, group named. Uh, illustrations so from here we have to insert some illustrations I'm going to choose a uh, round rectangle from here and now click and drag anywhere on the page you can see we have successfully draw a uh, round rectangle so I'm going to fill it with some color let's choose green color and I'm going to insert one more illustration object from the same area and click on in insert and again from illustrations click on shapes and I'm going to choose this circle or oval and I'm going to click on anywhere on the page now we have two illustrations objects in our document so I'm going to uh, overlap these objects uh, on one another so fill this color with the same same green and I'm going to bring the rectangle front so uh, for this we have to click on the object uh, let's say I'm uh, going to bring front and uh, this uh, rectangle so click on the uh, for this we have to go to a range group and from here you can see we have some options click on option bring to front and click on it and bring to front so you can see we have successfully brought the front to the square, uh, front to the circle and now if I draw an object uh, it will again change their positions so I don't want that, I want to uh, uh, change their positions as once so from here I will use uh, this step I will use the group function so for this purpose you have to press control key and click on circle and click on the another shape and then click on the format uh, tab and from here you have to access the arrange group now I'm going to click on the group option and the list shows some options the first one is active and another regroup and ungroup are inactive group now you can see our both objects are now behaves like single both illustrations acts like single uh, illustration or single object now you can change any color now you can see the both shapes are 
changing colors at once and behaves like they are uh, it is a single object we have used two objects to create this uh, diagram so uh, this was the lesson for today thanks for watching